Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station, an education and finance advisory for early stage startups. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. Today we're going to talk about um, building credible financials and how to make sure that you're presenting revenues which are just right where present your ventures from the credible point of view and at the same time uh, not too high right uh, and um, also um, portray your business as an attractive investment and before we go into this discussion i want to talk about what investors want right so what they want to see is uh, an executable plan with strong growth potential right so um what does it mean right uh, what it means is that they want to see a plan to um reach a certain goals which are big because if you're not trying to reach those goals you'll never reach them um but also they want to see exactly how you're going to make that happen because if you don't understand you're also not going to reach it right so it's basically a two-prong approach where they want you to aim for higher goals and to think through how you're going to get them because then it makes sense for them to take the risk of funding you right now, right? Because the reward will be big. What they don't want is um, to see just high revenues with no plan because they are unrealistic and you'll never achieve them, right? You can't just say, hey, I'm gonna make $1 billion or I'm gonna make $150 million and not show how you're gonna make that happen. They also don't want to see low revenues because low revenues mean low returns and they won't compensate investors for the risk they're taking by uh, funding your venture at this moment, right? So what should you do? Here's a, the rule of thumb that um, I've heard from one of the very successful CEO uh, when we interviewed him for one of our talks, right? And you see the goals here for year one, something like one, three million, maybe something between one to three million and nine million, 18 million, 36 million and 72 million. Now, it doesn't mean that you should exactly try to uh, hit those numbers, but that's a ballpark, right, of where you should be. So if you um, are projecting to be uh, generating about 30 million in year five, that is to go, or 10 million or 20 million, right? It should be something higher. It should not exceed 100 million because that is probably unrealistic. Now, what you should do next is prove that you can do it. Right? How can you do it? Number one, create a clear go-to-market strategy with clear goals in mind of what each action um, is going to result in. Why? Because when you begin executing, it will allow you to adjust your strategy very quickly. Two, understand your KPIs. Uh, if you understand how to measure success, again, you will be able to tweak your strategy and respond to uh, market feedback on a timely basis and capitalize on your successes and not repeat your failures. Determine how much money and time are needed to achieve your revenue goals, right? Because this determines how much money you need to raise right now, how many more times you need to raise money, what can you really expect at each juncture? So in the end, it's not about whether your revenues are high and low, because this is relative, right? What is high, what is low, at which stage, with which business model? It is about understanding and proving to others what you can do. And here you go. If you like this video, please share it with your colleagues and friends in the startup community. Sign up for our YouTube channel to watch other strategic finance tips every Tuesday. And follow us on social media for more educational and other content every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling credible financials, watch our masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. The masterclass is completely free. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.